today we will look at residual electron density. And if we look at the structure of sucrose, then that's uh, looking all very well until we switch the Q peaks on. And we see there's a few Q peaks here, and namely this one here. And if I click on this, is uh, Q1. This is the biggest peak. And this may be that this hydrogen isn't actually over here, but in reality it should be over here somewhere. Now the peaks themselves are pretty good indicators, but if you go Control M, it's much more clear what's happening. So this uh, this uh, hydrogen is not really here, it's really over here. So what we should do is maybe a few more cycles of refinement and uh, the hydrogen has been fixed in this position and if we uh, hover the mouse, we should see that it's been a fixed 147. So that's supposed to turn it around, but that's not happening here. Uh, so one thing we can do is go in toolbox work and click on this uh, thing that's called split, but it also means move. If I now uh, press the left mouse and the, uh, the shift key, then I can move this in this direction here, it's like centering a crystal. I'm not really cheating here, I'm just giving it a hand, it's going in the right place, it's still constrained where it was before, and if you refine this, uh, watch the R factor, 3.48, and it's going down to 3.22, and Control M now shows a much clearer map where there is no real residuals uh, anywhere here, and uh, that is really a good sign. Now, uh, a couple of other things about the Q-peaks. Uh, let's just pretend we haven't found them all and I'm deleting any number of peaks. I'm selecting part of this molecule and I'm deleting all the hydrogens uh, that were selected. So those are not touched because I hadn't selected them. Now, if I refine this, now watch what happens. So we got uh, 14 cyclists, which in Olex 2 dot refine with Levenberg mark, but it's, it's, it's a sensible number. Uh, you have five peaks. Now, if I refine this, then Olex 2 has automatically uh, increased that to 10 peaks because it figured out that there's probably 10 hydrogens missing. And if you look at this, it's fairly clear that these uh, have all been found. So Olex 2 doesn't show you too many peaks that you might not want. Um, so the behavior is like this. If you now change this manually to something like 11, this is now the value that you want and it's going to honor that. So it's going to be 11 peaks from now on, no matter what you do. Of course, you could also type things like refine, it's not refine, refine four cycles and you want to see seven peaks, then this is what Olex 2 is going to do, four cycles and seven peaks. Now, if you want the automation back again, then you just set this all the way down to zero. And uh, if I refine this now, control R, then Olex2 will again calculate how many peaks are actually required, how many hydrogens are missing. So it's up to you, take it or leave it. If you don't change the number, you will always get a, an estimate uh, by Olex2. If you change the number, then it will stay. Of course, if I add the hydrogens to this now, and uh, because this box is ticked, it will also automatically refine. This is what happens. And once it thinks it's found all the peaks, it it sets it to five. That's the default. That uh, that that means it's basically uh, fixed here. So there's still a shift. If I refine this some more, then the shift will hopefully disappear. And um, I only show two or three lines of uh, text here. So if I go lines ten, then I can see ten. And let's refine this again and see what wobbles. So there's still a shift here. I'm not quite sure. It set it to four. That's because I typed early on. Remember, I typed four cycles. Of course, here we want more like 20. Because in Olex 2 Refine, uh, it will automatically stop when it goes to zero. So in this case, it actually did take all the 20 cycles. But if I refine this again, it probably won't because it will settle before that and it only has done 10 cycles. Now, that was a very brief overview of how this new peak management works and how Control-M is a very useful feature. Thanks for using Olex 2.